Now, may I add, uh, request the Honorable Chief Minister Andhra Pradesh, the YS Jagan Mohan Reddy Garu, to make his address. Shri uh, Nitin Gadkari Ji, Honorable Union Minister for Road, Transport and Highways and MSME. Shri General V.K. Singh Ji, retired. Honorable Union Minister of State for Road Transport and Highways. Shri Ji Krishan Redigaru, Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs. Uh, Shri A. Giridhar Garu, Secretary Morth. Shri Dr. Sukhbir Singh Sanduji, Chairman NHAI. Shri I.K. Pandeji, Director General Morth. And uh, my ministerial colleague, uh, Shri Shankar Narayan Garu also. Respected uh, uh, public representatives and other dignitaries present in the virtual conference, participating in the uh, Bhumi Puja of uh, projects ready for foundation and dedication to the nation of completed projects in Andhra Pradesh. A very warm greetings to all of you. Under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji and uh, our dynamic leader Sri Nitin Gadkari ji with his visionary approach has transformed the national highways infrastructure in the entire country by increasing the pace of construction of national highways from 12 kilometers per day in, way back in 2013-14 to around 30 kilometers per day as of now. It became possible only because of the innovative financing of the projects, raising resources from different sources, and taking up construction on hybrid model and TOT model. All these concepts were new until, uh, until our visionary, Mr. Gadkari ji, took up this initiative. I'm very happy to mention here that the auction of the first bundle of TOT raised 10,000 crores for a period of 30 years. And out of this 682 kilometers, out of the 682 kilometers, around 442 kilometers is in Andhra Pradesh. So I thank you for the commitment uh, uh, what has been uh, bestowed on Andhra Pradesh. With the great vision of Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, and the dynamism and the dynamism exhibited by Sri Nitin Gadkari ji, 22 Greenfield Express Highways of about 7,800 kilometers are being taken up at an estimated cost of 3.3 lakh crores to bolster the economy through seamless road connectivity. It is heartening to note that six Greenfield Express Highways are passing through the state of Andhra Pradesh with an overall length of 375 kilometers. Sir, I am thankful to you for your cooperation in converting 2,667 kilometers of state roads to national highways out of our total length of 6,880 kilometers during your tenure. Today, I am happy to participate along with you in the foundation laying ceremony of 16 projects worth 7,584 crores an inauguration of 10 projects worth 8,038 crores. I also convey my sincere appreciation for the immediate steps you have taken to give consent on the proposal sent from the state government for various four-laning and tribal area connect connectivity projects. I convey my special gratitude for sanction of three-lane west side flyover at Ben Circle in Vijayawada based on my personal request during our previous meeting at New Delhi. My profound thanks to you, sir. Sir, we also need your continuous support for the development of connectivity infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. Uh, if I may ask of you, I'd like to request you to sanction a few more projects, sir, what are of importance, what are, uh, I would not, uh, uh, 
I would not mention of these things if these were not so important. These are very important projects, sir. And we've represented uh, some of them. And the others, of course, we would send it to you in due course of time, sir. But since the occasion has come up and uh, uh, since we could not meet you in person, uh, thanks to this COVID, uh, so I, I just hope that you would not mind me in this occasion raising uh, these issues also with your kind permission, if you permit me, sir, I would, uh, uh, I, I would just take another five minutes of your time in mentioning these projects to you for your kind, in, for, for your kind in consideration. You had sanctioned funds to the tune of uh, rupees 2,611 crores under Central Road Fund uh, during the previous regime, sir. But unfortunately, the state did not get any sanction in 2019-20 and 2020-21 after my government has taken charge, I was informed that the ministry has already taken positive action on the first phase of proposals uh, to a tune of 680 crores. The second phase proposals to a tune of 820 crores is submitted to the ministry for your kind sanction, sir. Uh, the second in line, sir, Vijayawada city needs bypass roads to ease the growing traffic on the west side one such bypass is already sanctioned and work is commencing shortly, sir. On the eastern side, a length of 78 kilometers against 189 kilometers proposed for the entire ring road needs to be taken up, sir. Out of this, the portion connecting to NH65 and NH16 with major bridge over Krishna River having a length of 52 kilometers may be taken up in the first phase due to sufficient traffic and connectivity, sir, to Machili Patnam port, which will add traffic further as this part is due for construction and this would make the project even more viable, sir, once this port uh, comes up. It is my sincere request to consider sanction of this project without insisting on state government contribution for the land acquisition cost, considering our uh, of plight, sir. Gre thirdly, sir, Greenfield Express Highway connecting Bangalore to Vijayawada via Kodikonda check post, Puluvendala, Muddanur, and Vijayawada may be taken up in phase one in view of its importance, sir, in giving better connectivity for the hinterlands and backward Rail Sima districts to Central Andhra Pradesh and Bangalore, sir. Fourthly, sir, I have just eight points to go, sir, and this is the fourth. I'm halfway done, sir. Fourthly, sir, additional allocation of rupees 220 crores for widening urban link of NH42 in Anantapur town, four laning including the ROB in addition to the rupees 90 crores already provided in National Highway Annual Plan for the year 2021, sir. Fifth, please, fifth, fifth point being, sir, sanction of Narsapuram bypass on NH216, which includes construction of a bridge on Vasista Godavari for providing good link between East Godavari and West Godavari district, sir. The sixth point, sir, sanction of upgradation of two lanes with paved soldiers, with paved shoulders for the stretch from Kavali Udaygiri to Sita Ramapuram of NH67, uh, BG costing around 450 crores in the additional sanctions in National Highway Annual Plan during 2020-21, sir, and 2021, and 2020-21. This will connect Nello districts to YSR Kadapa, Prakasham, and Chittur districts. Sir. Seventh point, sir, comprehensive development of 25 port connecting projects with a total length of 400 kilometers connecting our five important ports to the nearest national highways for propelling economic growth by creating connectivity from the ports uh, to the industrial nodes and consumption centers without insisting on providing free ROW, sir, from state governments. Sir, as you're at the eighth point, sir, the last point, as you are aware, sir, that our government is developing WISAC as executive capital, it is, all, it, is all, it is all the more important 
to have an alternate connectivity from Vizag to Bogapuram International Airport, sir. I request you to take over the beach road in Vizag and develop four-lane coastal highway up to this uh, Bogapuram International uh, Airport, sir. So these are the eight important uh, uh, projects, sir. We've sent uh, some of them already to you, and uh, the rest uh, we will also send, we'll also be sending it across, sir, for your kind perusal. Having put forth our request, sir, I once again sincerely thank you for keeping the needs of Andhra Pradesh close to your heart and sanctioning projects for all-round development of road infrastructure in Andhra Pradesh. I assure you, sir, our full cooperation from the state government in expediting execution of all the projects through continuous support for land acquisition and resolution of local issues. I look forward for your visit to Andhra Pradesh in the near future for a first-hand review of the projects and sustained cooperation. Uh, thank, thanks a lot, sir, uh, for uh, uh, having graced this occasion to inaugurate and also to lay foundation stones for almost 15,000 crores worth of projects. My sincere thanks to you, sir.